Hey, what's up ladies? It's Sam once again, coming back to you with a, another wig review. It's been a minute, but I just copped me a new wig. And today I am reviewing the um, Outre Curvy Addiction. Don't mind my nails, I'm in the process of removing them. So, you know, they got on ugly and all that. But yeah, it's the Curvy Addiction. Um, from my understanding, it's not a new wig, it's actually an oldie, but goodie. Um, and yeah, I seen some other YouTube ladies review this wig just the other day. I was at work. I work midnight. So I was at work, um, actually on Sam's, um, beauty. I just be browsing and I see the ones that I like. So I clicked on it and then I went to YouTube to find and see if anybody did any reviews. It was only a couple though. It was like two or three that I found and I was like, oh, and it was on sale. So, um, I went ahead and I ordered it and I just got it maybe like two days ago. So yeah, this is what the stock card looks like. These are the different styles I got. These are the different colors they have. I got the 1B, which I pretty much get all my wigs in 1B because I'm just scared of anything else. Um, funny thing is I started, wait, I did a video last night. So this is not a fresh, um, unboxing because I unboxed it last night to do a video and completely did the video wrong. Had the camera the wrong way. So I'm like, okay, now I got to hurry up and do another one because I want to get it done today. All right. So this is what it looks like. Not straight out the box, but straight out the box. You feel me? Pretty. It's so soft. You got a little bit of, just a little bit, but it's so soft and it's so natural and it's so light. The paper inside front clip so the front clip is all the way like in the front it is a half wig then you have the side clips then there's the back clips there's the drawstring so you know with half um wigs you gotta have some leave out just to cover the front so i'm not sure if i want to do i always do a side that's kind of why my hair is to the side like this already so let's try that first and you know, i got quite a few half wigs and i i prefer the half wigs to me i mean they're more effortless and more natural looking i'm not a lace Laying, slayer, melting. <laughs> I don't do none of that stuff. I don't have my witchy cap because I misplaced it, so it don't matter really. I'm just doing this for the video. Put my front clip in. My side. Got a little ponytail back here. I'm back. Tighten it up. Try not to get any of the um, hairs tangled in your drawstrings. That's how you call it. Not, it's not too tight though. I really could do it a little. Hmm, it's fine. Anyway. Okay, this is the straight on. It's, let me tell y'all. If don't it don't even feel like I got a wig on. Honestly, it's so light. It has layers in it. I probably cut more layers in it because I like a, a heavy bang. And um, the front is too long to do a heavy bang. I thought I ironed my front a little bit last night when I originally did the video, so I might not have to today um let's see roughly i mean because i'm not in the mirror in the bathroom mirror so roughly this is what it looked like with a quick a quick little style so look at these curls check this out Check it out. I'm about to brush them out a little bit. Finger comb it through. It just so natural flowing. And big and voluptuous. I just love it. But I do feel like I'm going to chop it down a little bit so I can have more of a, you know, like a, like some of that. Favorite edge control. This is my favorite. I get it from the Beauty Supply, two ninety nine.
like I said, it's super lightweight. It don't, okay, so this is, like if he was to do, let me tuck first, yeah, let me tuck this Josh train in. Let me tighten it up a little bit. All right, if you was to put it in a ponytail, this is how thick, like a good, like it's not, cause I've had um, wigs where they were just too thick and I had to um, go through with the thinning shears and thin it out. Cause they just be too, too um, freaking thick. Another thing, the texture is like a good, uh, like a fresh perm texture. It's, um, let me see if it says on here. Mm, I really do have a realistic look because it looks, you know, it don't, it looks cultured, but just, you know, a, a fresh, um, Either a fresh rela relaxer or a, um, like a Brazilian blowout, something like that. But yeah, it's, it's very little shedding. I have a few strands on me. Like, if you can see that. I don't know if you can see it, but I have a few strands on me. Not much. Um, it's so pretty. Oh, and it feels like to do that, it just feels good. And I do feel like it might start tangling some in the back. And the trick that I've learned is thin it out. You thin out the hair, you layer the hair a little bit, make the rip, like the back that you don't really see. I feel like you should make it a little shorter, a little thinner, keep the top full, thin out the back back. I wanna see how long it is. How long it is in the back? It's longer than the mid back. Yes, this is really good for any type of occasion. I feel like I can go to a job interview with this wig. Um, sophisticated, sexy, uh, playful. Let me get a headband. I brought some of my headbands down from my room. I think with the headbands. I definitely need to pull the wig back some more to, well, I mean, it feels comfortable. I think that's pretty. And that's just what's like, you know, sometimes with these, I don't let anything show. If I don't feel like, you know, if you don't even feel like doing your edges and you just want to slap the wig on and, um, but it's better if you do it like that to have it this way, I think. Like that. If you just wanna cover up, and then we can bring it up a little bit. Okay, so I would fluff it a little bit. Give it some volume. Cute little ponytail, just with your um, headband. And see, I probably wouldn't wear it like this, only because I don't, I like my ends a little more tapered, a little more layered when I do a ponytail. I like the layered look, so cute. See? So you can go from business or work and then you know if you do something professional in office or somewhere you want to look really professional um but if you work at like Chuck E. Cheese or something like it don't matter you can be fun all day but yeah you can go from business or interview or church to a night out with your friends. Of course, I would um, either curl that in, blend it with the flat iron, or wrap it around. Oh, so yeah, 
Yeah, how you guys like this wig? How y'all like it? It ain't too shiny. I feel like this is a good, this is probably the longest wig that I own at this point. But yeah, I do think I'm gonna go ahead and put more layers because I like my ponytails, like I said, to be, you know, less in a form. So yeah, I might do some, still do reviews on the ones that I didn't do reviews on and show um, how they're doing now after being used and worn and abused for months. And kind of like how, how um, the upkeep and the longevity of a wig. Um, so yeah, Sam's Beauty, about $15.99, $16. Uh, I love it, I like it. It's beautiful, it's light. And you can put it in a bun. I mean, you can though, not that kind of bun, but you know, you know what I'm saying. So yeah, tell me what you like. Um, I'm trying to get another wig for another review. Bye.